a warm welcome to five social media secrets for more freedom, finance, and fun in your business. So I'm going to start off just by introducing myself to you. So who am I? Now, I know lots of you already know me and I know lots of you have been on my workshops and courses before, but I'll give you a little overview. I'm the world leading face yoga expert. I was named world leading face yoga expert probably about 16 years ago by the international press. I have 18 years experience and I know that many of you know my story about how I overcame the chronic illness of ME when I was 21, which left me completely bedridden for around a year. And I used a lot of the holistic techniques I still teach today to cure myself and then find my sole purpose, which is helping other people to really feel the best that they can through these beautiful wellness te techniques that I've been teaching for 18 years. I'm also creator of the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, which I'm gonna be chatting to you about later. I'm a wellness coach, a yoga teacher, and what I'm gonna be doing today, my role today is as a business mentor. And I have taken many trainings over the years. My three year degree is in education. So that's really the root of all my teaching. I'm also a yoga teacher. I've trained in obviously face massage, relaxation therapy, crystal sound healing, Reiki, nutrition. They're just some of the trainings I've done. I'm lucky enough to be a twice best-selling award-winning author. I'm the host of the Face Yoga Expert podcast. I'm a YouTuber and have millions of monthly views. I have created a community of over 1 million across all my social media platforms. And that's what we're here doing today. I'm gonna to be telling you exactly how I did this in a really simple, soulful and organic way and if I can do it trust me you can do it as well and by the end of this I want you so fully believing that you can build your social media to this and even more I just know that you will because if you put what I'm going to say into place today there's no reason why you can't I've trained many thousands of teachers in the Daniel Collins face yoga method give me a little wave if you're one of our teachers or one of our gosh our teachers I know lots of you'll be here today um, I'm a multiple award-winning skincare range I have fusion by Danielle Collins which is my gorgeous skincare I've appeared in hundreds of magazines newspapers and TV show I work a lot with international brands and mostly guys, I know what it's like to run a business. So I've not just stepped into being a business coach completely out of nowhere. I have done 18 years of this. I have learned the hard way and probably the slow way as well. But the reason I do what I do now is because I feel so passionate about telling you guys every secret I've got. So you don't have to do it as slowly as I did it and you don't have to struggle as much as I did. So I am going to be teaching loads of this today, but I also teach loads in my Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle as well. One of my favourite jobs, in fact, my favourite jobs, not one of my favourite jobs, my favourite job is being mummy to Lucia and Lilia and also wife to Bruce. As many of you probably know, I'm definitely an empath. I feel things very deeply, highly sensitive person. I definitely believe I'm an old soul. I believe I've had thousands of lifetimes before. I go through periods of having very vivid dreams as well. And I have this real deep connection to the sea which is probably related to me being a Pisces, but I also have an Aquarius moon and Aquarius rising. So any astrology fans out there, let me know if you love your astrology. I have got a lot of water and a lot of air in my chart. So I'm also a 5-1 generator in human design for anyone that knows about their human design. Things I don't like. I don't like anything scary, any horror films. I think this comes from being an empath. Um, and it definitely, I don't even like watching the news, to be honest with you. I don't like rudeness. I really pride myself on being polite to everyone, everywhere I go. Hey, anchovies, I think they are disgusting. And I really hate seeing people suffering. So that's something I really struggle with. And that's why I do what I do, because I don't want people to suffer. Every day I wake up, I put my feet on the floor as I get out of bed and I say the words, thank you, but I'm also not a morning person. Everything I do is guided by my intuition. And if you choose to do the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, not only will I be giving you really good strategies to market yourself, grow your 
brands, grow your business, but I'll also be guiding you on how to use your own intuition because I can give you every secret of how I've done it, but I always like you to run this through your intuition. So actually go inside and ask if this is right for you, if this is aligned for you, if this lights you up. Things I love, dark chocolate. I've got my oat milk here and cacao at the moment. I love listening to podcasts, particularly while I walk. Um, I listen to them while I drive as well, although I don't like driving at all. My vice, because I think everyone's allowed a vice, is watching Real Housewives, bit of a reality TV fan, love getting my nails done, and bliss for me is doing yoga on the beach. Hello, everyone that's just joined. Thank you for saying where you are. Oh, I love hearing your astrology as well. That's great. Okay, so let's start talking, guys, about social media, because that's why we're here today. And what I wanted to start off talking to you about is my early beliefs about social media. Now, I'd be really interested to know if you also think like this. If any of these are your beliefs, you can put a yes up in the chat if any of this resonates with you. Now, I would say 95% of this now, I don't believe because I'm going to tell you how I work through that. But this is what I used to believe prior to getting onto social media. I used to believe Social media is a negative place. It's a place where people show off. I used to believe it's negative for people's mental health. I used to believe it's really just no good for marketing. I was very much focused on building my credibility in the press. I didn't think that social media was good for credibility. I definitely thought there's definitely not a place to show my, my personal life. I definitely thought this isn't how you grow a business. This is a faddy thing. It'll come and go. I didn't really even believe social media would be a significant thing for anybody's business. I mean, I laugh at most of these beliefs now. I used to think it's so full of judgment. I used to think it, it requires loads of work. I used to think it requires loads of money to get anywhere. I used to think it requires loads of time. And I used to think it requires you to just look a certain way. So there's only a certain age of person, only a certain type of person, only a, way, a certain way of speaking that would do well. So these were all limiting negative beliefs and most of which are not true. Now, let me tell you, there are corners of social media and corners of the internet where these things are true. Absolutely. But what I have done is I've made a really positive corner of the internet, which I'm going to talk to you about in a moment, and a positive place within where this isn't true. So what I decided to do was to become consciously aware of these beliefs and just dive into social media anyhow and see if I could do it in a bit more of a positive way. And just looking at your chat, guys, here, and I can see that a lot of you are saying, yes, that actually you have felt some of these things or maybe still think of some of these things as well. So what actually happened? So these limiting beliefs actually delayed me using social media for so many years. And to be honest with you, I got onto it so much later than I should have. I was running a business. I was teaching yoga. I was teaching face yoga. I was building myself known nationally and internationally at the time that Facebook came out, that Instagram came out, that YouTube came out. And I wish I had got on them at the beginning because I think that my accounts would have blown up so much quicker than they did. But those limiting beliefs were holding me back. So what I decided to do was this process, which I do for a lot of things, but I decided to first of all become aware of these limiting beliefs. So I literally wrote them down in a similar way to I've wrote them down there. Then I started to become a little bit more positive. Now I'll highlight that a bit there because I wasn't fully positive, but I started to become a bit more positive. I started to clear some of these mindset blocks through things like affirmations, journaling, visualization, emotional freedom technique. But when I got onto social media, at first, particularly when I was using Facebook and Instagram, I used to use it in quite an inauthentic way. I never showed the real me, I just showed the business me and what I thought was a very professional version of me. And actually what I now know is the business me and the real me are not separate, but I used to separate them. 
And my posts are very much about success rather than about service. So it used to be just documenting what I was doing or perhaps when I was in the press, I would talk about it or if I'd won an award or it was almost a little bit showing off, which definitely isn't me in real life. So I don't know why I used to do that on social media. And none of it was really about asking, how can I really help people through social media? So then I started to look at the fact that I just wasn't getting the growth on social media. I think with my Facebook and Instagram, I might have got up to maybe a thousand followers on both, which was still good. I mean, that's still amazing. But I was stuck there. I was really, really stuck there. So I decided, what if I actually change my negative beliefs and I change my action? So I created a little formula. So this is my early formula. We're going to build on this formula in a bit as we go through. So I thought, what about if I really have positive beliefs about social media? So I don't let any of those limiting beliefs hold me back. I'm just positive about them. And I really take positive action where I'm being of service to people. And that would equal social media success. So this is what happened in 2019. I had a little social media boom. Yes. So what happened was for the rest of the world, it was in 2020 as the pandemic hit, because obviously everybody was at home and they were using their social media. But I'd already started using this new formula, which is when my boom happened. So I use the formula I've just talked about, but there's other formulas as well. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you on this webinar today. So by 2020, I was very set up with social media, which is wonderful. And I created this lovely, positive, uplifting space on the Internet to really connect with my soulmate clients and customers. Now, that's so important to say I created a positive and uplifting space because, yes, the Internet can be full of a lot of bad. But I wanted my space on the Internet to be positive and uplifting. And I wasn't trying to be everything to everyone. I only wanted to connect with my soulmate clients and customers. Now, if you decide to do the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, which is an amazing bundle of courses, which goes into how to grow your business, how to market yourself really easily, really simply and really soulfully. One of the first things I teach you on one of the courses on there, which is called Be Your Own Brand, is how to understand who your soulmate client and customers are and to only speak through your marketing, through your social media to them. So don't try and be everything to everyone. Don't try and please everybody, because if you try and do this, I promise you, you'll end up being nothing to no one. What you've got to do is really get super clear on your soulmate customers. So you guys here are my soulmate clients and my soulmate followers. You guys are the people who really get me and I really get you and really connect with each other. And that's what I want for you. I want you to find that community of people who want to be part of what you're doing. Thank you, everyone, for all the positive stuff. Oh, amazing. I love hearing what you're saying there. That's great. So full commitment happens. And this was big. This is really big. So at the end of 2019, I actually stopped a huge chunk of my paid by hour work. So this was my one to one face yoga sessions. This was my wellness coaching. This was my, <clears throat> excuse me, my yoga classes. This is my in-person teacher training. This was my one to one face yoga teacher training. And I love that work, but I knew that it wasn't as aligned with me as much anymore. And it didn't take me to the next step in my business. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing the paid per hour work. You know, this is what I did for well over a decade. And again, in the Sole Purpose Business Course Bundle, I teach you exactly how to get more clients and to get more customers and to get higher pay per hour with what you do. This work is amazing. But I decided to actually start focusing my time on social media and then marketing my passive products and services. So things like my books, my skincare, my courses, my teacher training, and doing that through social media. And trust me, this was so scary, honestly, to say goodbye to good, well-paid work and a whole portfolio of face yoga and yoga and wellness coaching clients, meditation clients was tricky, but I knew deep within my intuition it was the right thing to do. 
So at the end of 2019, I set up a podcast. I committed to making three YouTube videos a week, which I still do to this day. I committed to doing a daily Instagram, TikTok and Facebook post. In fact, I joined TikTok about halfway through 2020 and sending two newsletters a week. So if you're thinking, oh my goodness, Danielle, how do you do that content? I'm going to be showing you loads of this today, but also within the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, you get a whole course. It's about a three hour course in there called Soulful Social Media Success. And I tell you all my tricks about how to batch make content, how one video can be used in 10 different ways, how you can plan a month's worth of content, how you can do a month's worth of content in just a few hours. So it sounds a lot of content, but there are loads of tricks and, um, tricks and tips that you you can do in order to make that so much easier oh you're so sweet with all the comments you're making guys thank you so much for being here it's just so lovely to be here and, and chat to you so what actually happened after this commitment well it wasn't an overnight success let me tell you that straight away it wasn't like i decided to stop all my paper hour work commit to all my social media and marketing everything on social media and suddenly i had this a million followers across my social media it took time but traction did happen because i was very committed and it was really building up and i'd say it took a good few months of daily consistency and making high value content every day. Now I should say posting high value content every day because I wasn't actually, and still to this day, I don't make all my content every single day. I have plenty of days off. I make my content and then I schedule it or I post it in real time, but I've already made it. So again, I'm gonna teach you how to do that, a little bit of that today. But as I said, in the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, I show you exactly how to do this because if you're anything like me, you do not want to be spending all your time making content, you just want Want to be helping people and then getting the results back from that so as soon as my what happened then okay so this is the this is the real truth then of what happened and it was big and really quite excited my business started making the same per month as it was previously making per year so for about i would say 12 years it was making pretty much a consistent sort of mid to low five figures. So when I say five figures, I'm talking about British pounds here. Um, you can convert it slightly to euros or to, to dollars as well. But I started making that per month. So I then started to have these six figure years because I had made this change. It felt aligned with me. I had this correct strategy and I changed my mindset. And the best thing about this, I was able to live with my three highest business values, which are freedom, wellness, and abundance. So again, if you do the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, this is a self-study course, it's all video content. So it'll feel like exactly like what I'm doing now. I'll be teaching you like this, but you can do it in your own time, at your own pace, and I lead you through activities, and it's just amazing. But within that, I get you to really understand what your three business values are and then how you can actually run every decision you make through those three business values. So everything I do, I ask myself, does this give me freedom? Does this improve my wellness? And does this give me abundance? Now, abundance is, does this help me financially? But also, does this give me abundance of joy? Does it give me abundance of love? Does it give me abundance of peace? All of these things are really, really important as well. And one of the best things that making this change allowed me to do was really live my sole purpose of helping millions of people to look and feel the best version of themselves. And again, in the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, I help you get super clear on your soul purpose because you might be thinking to yourself, I don't actually know what my soul purpose is. But all it is is about tapping into your intuition, 
understanding a few different parts of you. So for example, I get you to think about things like what you enjoyed during childhood or what certain things that light you up. And then you really understand what your soul purpose is. So it makes making decisions so much easier. Uh, Leslie says, freedom, wellness, and abundance. Love it. And it should be part of everyone's life. Absolutely. If anyone wants to steal those three values and make them their own, please do. Absolutely. Okay. So let's start talking about what the secret to being good at social media is, because I know that's what you guys will want to know. And we're going to go even deeper into this in a minute, but let's start off here. So don't worry, you'll get all these slides sent to you in the next day or two and a recording of all this. So don't feel that you have to write all of this down unless you get any, any big sort of brainstorms that you want to write down. So the secret is, first of all, an internal formula. So this is positive belief so this is what's happening inside and you get positive belief through doing this having an awareness of your limiting beliefs then releasing your limiting beliefs so like i said one of the best ways i find for this is journaling is visualization is affirmations emotional freedom technique and again in the soul purpose business course bundle i actually help you clear a lot of your limiting beliefs when it comes to your business when it comes to your branding and when it comes to your social media and we actually do loads of lovely eft tapping um, to release that which is so so powerful and then the third thing you need to do is just have a little grace towards your limiting beliefs because yes, you clear them, but guess what? They rear their head back up again and you have to just go, it's okay. I'm human. I'm going to have worry. I'm going to have anxiety. I'm going to have down days and that's okay. And by giving yourself a little bit of grace, honestly, it makes a massive difference to everything. So we do that for internal formula. So that's your first little secret to being good at social media. The next secret is what I call the external formula. And this is about positive action. So how do you take positive action through your social media? You do it, first of all, through consistency. Now, I cannot say this enough. I would say if anything, other than changing your mindset about certain things, if there's anything that is the most powerful thing you can do through social media or through anything in your business is be consistent. So you start to make a decision what consistency looks like for you. So I gave, for example, that I do three YouTube videos a week. That's what consistency is to me, committing to that every single week, whatever happens. For you, it might be two Instagram posts a week and that's okay. It doesn't matter what your consistency is, but what matters is you keep it up and I can promise you that you won't fail. And the reason you won't fail is because when you're consistent, you can't quit. You just don't quit because you'll keep going and you'll keep going. So there's no way you can fail. And I would say that this is the number one way I've gone from zero, because don't forget on all of my social media platforms, I started from zero and grew to a million across all of my social media platforms. So that's adding up all the platforms together. I honestly believe it was consistency and not giving up and keep posting, keep learning what works and keep posting that really made a difference. Authenticity is so important. If you wouldn't say it, and I love this, people often say this and a bit cliche, but I think it's amazing. If you wouldn't say it to a stranger that sat next to you on the aeroplane, don't say it on social media. So it really has to be the way you would usually speak. Show up who you usually are because people want to know the real you, particularly if you are looking to connect with your soulmate clients and customers. They're the people that you want to buy your sessions, your coaching, your courses, your products, whatever it is that you're selling. So you've got to show the real you because that is who you want them to connect with. Also, you've got to be so passionate about what you post. Don't post something because you think someone else did it and it did really well, or because you think it's the right thing to post, or because you think this would maybe get a lot of likes on social media post what you feel passionate about. People can see when you have passion. You can probably see that I've got a lot of passion about teaching this because I love it genuinely from a deep place. And that's what people want to see in here. So be passionate. Then when you're posting on social media, always ask yourself, 
Am I being of service? And this is so important. Really try and think, am I helping someone? Remember, you want to create this positive corner of the internet. And by doing that, you need to put other people before yourself. And this is not about not protecting your energy and not looking after yourself, because I am all about that. I mean, that's so important. But this is about thinking, how can I help somebody else through what I'm about to say? And something which is so important, which is so difficult, but also, I guess, so easy, is just patience. Because if you give up, then it's never going to work. But if you're patient and you just keep doing it and you know that success will come, that will count for so much. Julie says, consistency is my word of the year, impacting so many areas and sometimes difficult. Do you know what? It is difficult. It's one of the hardest and the easiest things in the world when it comes to business and everything. It really, really is. Um, oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it, guys. You're writing some really sweet comments. OK, let's talk about the content formula for doing well on social media. So this is about your strategy and I'm all about something that I call either positive strategy or in the sole purpose business course bundle, I talk a lot about aligned strategy. So particularly in the soulful social media success course, which is one of your courses you get as part of your bundle. When you watch that, you will be led through these three strategies. Now, every post that you make on social media, whether it is Instagram, whether it's Facebook, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Twitter, which is now called X, I believe. I'm, I'm not a big one for Twitter or X, but maybe that will be my next thing to be consistent at, um, or YouTube or whatever it is. I always want you to ask yourself, is my post at least one of these things? So is it either educational, so is it teaching someone something or has it some level of entertainment? Is it going to entertain the people that are looking at it or is it evoking some sort of emotion in people? So this can be happiness, sadness, joy, love. It's encouraging people to feel something. And unless your post or your content that you're making is one of these three things, I would definitely say tweak it or change it so it is. I would say probably about 80% of my content is educational just because that's who I am. That's who I am at my core. I mentioned at the beginning, I've got a first class degree in education. For me, helping and teaching is really at the core of who I am. So that's why a lot of my posts are that. And I'd probably say the other sort of 15% is emotion. And occasionally I'll do some entertaining posts, but I'm not so good at the entertaining posts because that's not who I am authentically. But if you think, actually, I am really entertaining and that's what I want 90% of my posts to be, then that's what you should do. Really start to step into who you are, but make sure every one of your posts ticks one of these three things. Brilliant. OK, so I'm just reading your comments at the same time there. Being of service. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Being a service is the number one thing that we all need to do. So let's talk about that first formula that we had. So we had talked about having positive belief and positive action equals social media success. But we're going to make this equation or this formula a little bit longer now. So it's going to be positive belief. So this is our mindset with positive action. So that's about being consistent, authentic, passionate of service and patient with positive strategy. And that's about every piece of content being either educational, entertaining or emotive. And that's going to give you your social media success. Now, something that I cannot say enough is social media should bring you freedom, fun and finance daily. So in a minute, we are going to explore those three things. So let's have a little chat about who you are. You may have seen me talk about these things before here, but I'd love to hear on the chat if any of these things sound like you. So this webinar or workshop today, but also my sole purpose business course bundle is definitely for you if you are one of these things. So either 
a face yoga teacher, a gua sha teacher, a yoga teacher, a pilates teacher, a reiki healer, a coach, a personal trainer, a beauty therapist, a holistic therapist, a nutritionist, a spiritual coach or teacher, a healer, an empath, owns a product business, a consultant. Maybe you love wellness. Maybe you're a highly sensitive person. Maybe you have a desire to help other people. Or maybe you want to include more wellness in your current job or career that isn't one of those things, but you feel really passionate about wellness. So write yes if any of those areas are you. Love to hear from you. Yes. Oh, amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Love that. Amazing. Oh. Oh, yay many of those that's great yes amazing so you are in the right place <laughs> you're in the right place for this workshop today and I'm sure you will also love my Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle as well, which I'm also going to talk to you about a little VIP bonus because I'm going to be doing a live introductory group coaching call if you decide to sign up for the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle in the next week. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this special limited time VIP group coaching call with me to really kickstart your sole purpose business course bundle and the fact that it's now at an amazing price much much less than it was originally hello everyone yes i love this healers tarot readers hello this is amazing okay so i mentioned the sole purpose business course bundle i'm going to talk much more about it at the end but i just want to tell you why it might be good for you so do any of these things sound like something you would like to be and again give me a yes or a thumbs up or a heart so the sole purpose business course bundle is perfect for you if you have started a business but you're ready to grow it and make a big impact on the world you want to establish yourself as a memorable brand and have your ideal clients or soulmate clients and customers buy from you with love and ease. You want to learn how to market yourself on social media and beyond in an authentic, effortless way. Your intuition is your superpower and you want to use this to learn exactly what your sole purpose is. You don't like the old school way of business and that's about that hard hustle, those long working days, those icky sales strategies. And you believe you can actually be successful and abundant by truly being yourself. You love freedom and flexibility with your time, location, choices and business. I am all about this. You believe you can make great money and be a spiritual conscious woman or i know we've got some men here today or men as well you want a business that makes six figures and beyond easily and frequently and trust me guys if i can get stuck in that five figures for a good decade and then break through to six figures and then into easily multiple six and multiple six figures over the last few years then you can as well i've done nothing different to anybody else, nothing special. It's really super easy. It's just about mindset shifts. It's about action shifts and it's about some aligned strategy, combining that with intuition. And this is exactly what I'm gonna teach you in the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, exactly how to do that. And I, there's nothing that I hold back. If you guys know me, you'll know that I hold nothing back. Let me just have a sip of water. You love wellness and self-care and you're ready to align your chakras. We work a lot with chakra aligning and believe that feeling healthy is a priority for yourself and your clients and your customers and a team if you have them. And you're ready to live life in the present moment and enjoy your life today. Yay, look at all your hearts. This is amazing. Oh, this is great. This is amazing. Yes, everybody. Okay, so let's talk about the three Fs in social media let me have another sip of water you can probably see how hot i'm getting under my light okay so every time you use your social media you should ask yourself does it bring me freedom finance and fun so I'm going to show you how to have those three F's in your social media, because I believe that you deserve to do social media 
with loads of freedom, loads of finance. You be I believe that you can have multiple six figures and beyond. My goal is to hit the seven figure mark now and then teach you guys exactly how to get to multiple seven figures and also fun. Okay, so let's talk freedom. I love talking about freedom. Now, social media shouldn't ever rule you. I've talked a lot about how to do well on social media so far, but this shouldn't rule you. It shouldn't take over your life and you can take breaks. You don't have to be doing this all day, every day. I just think we are so blessed to live in this digital age where social media is just literally at our fingertips. We can reach people anywhere in the world right away but we need to use it in the right way that gives us freedom and helps us to feel good on the inside. And the best thing about social media marketing, and this is why I love it so much and it's given me so much freedom, is it can be done when you like, where you like and how you like. So I do so much of my work from home now. I also travel a lot with my family. I can work from anywhere in the world so that is something which is so important to me and that's what social media allows us and that's really true freedom for me and freedom as I said is one of the most important values in my business and I believe that we should all feel a sense of freedom both in our content creation and in our life because I know lots of people who do do a lot of social media but they feel so tied down by it that actually it's doing the opposite of what it should do so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in a way that brings you so much freedom so what I want you to do now is grab a pen and paper or you can use a notes app on your phone or put it in a message do whatever suits you I'm going to do a little activity so I want to ask you do you believe, and this is just a yes or no answer, I just want you to write this down, yes or no, on your piece of paper. Do you believe that social media gives you freedom? So what's your current belief at the moment? Just a yes or no, and you can even put it in the chat if you want to. Do you believe that social media currently gives you freedom? There's no right or wrong answer here. I just want you to be aware of your beliefs. It's quite a few no's coming up there. Don't worry, guys, we are going to work through these mindset blocks, I promise you. And particularly if you do the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, I'll show you how to get freedom from your social media. You can do it. Jen, yes, you're saying absolutely. Tanya's saying yes. Good. Julie's saying yes. So there are yeses too. Like I said, no right or wrong answer. So if you're saying no, that's really powerful as well, because it means you're doing that first step, which is becoming aware of your mindset beliefs. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so I now want you to write down that I presume that all of you have done at least one social media post of some kind in the past. So some of you may be really, really frequent with your social media and doing absolutely loads. Some of you might have just done a few posts now and again. Doesn't matter, but I'm presuming you've done at least posted a video or a Instagram story or maybe you've posted a video somewhere or a picture or whatever it is I want you to now answer this question from the type of content you've made before what type of content does make you feel like you've got a sense of freedom so the way to answer this is it's very easy for you it's simple for you it's aligned it feels connected it feels like it gives you freedom it feels like you can make it anytime anywhere it feels like you can share it anytime anywhere write it down you may write down instagram story you may write down posting holiday photos you may write down making 10 second reels you might write doing a facebook live whatever it is write it down on a piece of paper if you want to share it in the group chat do that as well Kirsten I love what you've just written there anything if I'm in the zone that's what I want you to tap into that zone when you're in the zone that's when you're creating your content love that Karina's saying real family pictures that's amazing so that's giving you a sense of freedom. I want you to really tap into this because this is going to be your starting point 
to the next step of your social media. So wherever you are of your social media journey, your next step is gonna be tapping into this. What gives you real freedom? Yeah, Banu says story of the day. That's great as well, love that. Amazing. Social media and yoga classes for over 60. This gives me freedom to practice anywhere, wherever. That's amazing. Yes, tap into that. So you need to be making more of that, of that content. Elsa says, I feel really excited when I post. That is amazing. Tap into that excitement. That's how you should feel because the people that are following you will love that. And I'm sure those are the posts that do the best, the ones that you're so excited about getting connected with people. That's amazing as well. Memories from my photos and reels. I love mindset and inspirational quotes. Okay, Sharon, so that's what you're gonna step into. You're gonna step into doing more of that because that's giving you freedom. That's lighting you up. This is where you wanna start from. Daily chanting details, Tracy, that's amazing. Again, do that, be consistent with that. Whatever you're picking here now, that is what I want you to be consistent at. That's your starting point. You can diversify, you can make more content, you can do all different types of content, but start with this. Love writing about a subject which I connect with. That's amazing, Leslie. Sharing, connecting, teaching, something tangible that others can use. Yes, Sarita, that's exactly what I love doing as well. So share and educate. Posts of clarity and higher self, Jen, that's amazing. So that's what you wanna be posting more of. I love this, weekly challenges, wishing everyone a good bon siman, which means a good week. Yes, that's amazing. So step into that, commit to doing that, either daily or weekly. This is what you need to start with. If you do nothing else from going away today, try and pick something which gives you freedom, lights you up, feels really easy, and start doing that consistently. Commit to how often you're doing it. Even make a decision now, write it down now. Is it gonna be once a week you're gonna be posting this? Twice a day, once a month, it doesn't matter. Make your decision on it. Love that, gorgeous. This is amazing, guys. Now, whilst you're in this energy of thinking about this, I want you to have a thing. What one thing can you now do in your current business or your new business if you're about to set up one, which is just gonna give you more freedom of your location and time? Now, this doesn't have to be related to social media. This is quite a generic question, but I want you to tap into your intuition. In fact, just place a hand, two hands on your heart, take a really deep breath, Keep your eyes closed for a minute. And just ask yourself, what can I do in my business to give me more freedom? And just listen to that first answer which comes up in the first few seconds. Okay, and write that down. And I'll tell you what came up for me because I listened to my intuition then. For me, it was about stepping more into my newsletters for people. That's what I felt that my intuition, my inner guidance told me that that's gonna give me even more freedom in my business. So I'd love to know what you feel is gonna give you more freedom within your business. Is it saying no to something? Is it saying yes to something? Is it connecting more with your soulmate clients? Is it moving on to something new? Is it stepping into something which you already do, but even more so? Great, action, play, me time, passive income and group work. A loud start, Joanna. Yes, recognizing opportunities when they're presented. This is great, guys. Reaching out internationally, putting myself out there even if I feel uncomfortable. Yes, being able to plan my work, group work. Guys, these are amazing. Make sure you write them down in your notebook or journal here because these are gold. This is what you're gonna start doing. Scheduling content so I don't get stuck daily. Yes, learning more. This is amazing, guys. This is absolute nuggets of magic. Don't ever lose sight of what you've heard in that intuition. We often think that what we've been thinking about up here for months and years is what we should be doing. But those couple of seconds when we go into our intuition or we go into our heart chakra, when we do that, that gives us the wisdom to actually make that change in our business. 
Okay, let's talk about finance now. Now, finance I know can often be really tricky one to talk about. And I've got to be honest with you, for years, I would have never talked about what my business was earning ever for so many reasons, embarrassment, judgment. I think particularly as a woman, we're brought up to thinking we shouldn't talk about this. Definitely being British, we think we shouldn't talk about this. But I found it massively empowering by doing this. And I found more than anything, it's allowed me to help other people like you guys by me being really honest about my journey financially, allowing you guys to actually make shifts in your life as well. So social media should make you money. And this is something which is not talked about enough. We aren't just doing social media for the fun of it. Well, we can do it for the fun of it. I mean, why not? But I think most of you probably want to do it to make you money. So really what you want to do on social media is make money through connecting with your soulmate customers or your soulmate clients and then buying. They are then buying your products or services. There's other ways you can make money through social media, you know, working with brands, that type of thing. But today we're really focusing on connecting with your soulmate clients and customers. And this is what it should be doing. It should be making you money. No problem, Susan, you have to go. I'm so glad you love it. Um, it's also, and this is something I think this is so important to say, it's so hard to measure how social media makes you money. And to this day, even though now I'm at the point where I'm pretty consistent with my social media and I know it inside out, I still couldn't tell you exactly how many sales come from my social media. It's so hard to measure for so many reasons. But this is what you've got to do. You've got to use what statistics you have got and then you've got to use your greatest superpower, your intuition. You've got to ask yourself, is this making me money? And it's really a yes or no answer. And if it's a no, you change it up. And if it's a yes, you step into that even more. I honestly think that social media is absolutely amazing because it's free. So we're getting these platforms for free. We can use them anytime, anywhere. And there's no better way, no way to share what you know and help others without spending a penny. Plus, what's even more wonderful is you can actually not only not spend a money to, any money to market, you can actually make money from these amazing platforms and you can do it in a soulful, conscious way. So before social media, before this digital age we're in now, Small businesses used to really struggle to know how to connect with their dream clients or soulmate clients. And they used to spend a lot of money on advertising. They used to spend a lot of money on trying to get on TV or they used to spend a lot of time, which is what I did. So before social media, I used to put so much time into my marketing. I would sometimes travel for two or three days just to have an interview at one location with someone that was writing an article in a magazine on me. Now I can reach way more people that would even read that magazine in one social media post. So I am so grateful for social media. They're literally waiting for you on the other side of your screen. And I always think that you're doing your soulmate clients and customers a disservice if you aren't telling them about your products and services. We often feel a bit shy to market ourselves, but if you're not talking about your business, no one else will. And don't do your soulmate clients and customers a disservice. Imagine if I had never told you guys about this webinar. Imagine if I never told you guys about how amazing and life-changing the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle is. Imagine if I never talked about my Face Yoga Teach training or my books. I feel like I'd be doing people a disservice because these are so amazing, such great content, and they're making such a difference to so many people's lives that actually it's so important to tell people. And I think the best news is, is your soulmate clients really want to hear from you. They want to know what you offer. Keep reminding yourself that. We often think we're annoying by telling people about what we offer, but it's absolutely not true. And I really think that if I was to pinpoint one thing, if I could only pick one thing that took my business from five figures into the multiple six figures, it would definitely be leveraging the marketing powers of social media. 
And I started on every single platform with zero followers. And that's what you've got to remember, absolutely zero. And I built it to over 1 million in organic, mindful and authentic way. And I've tried social media ads before. I tried them on YouTube. I tried them on Instagram. I tried them on Facebook. I even tried it with an ad company once. And guess what? It did not work for me. I think it's because it just didn't feel aligned for me. There was something about paying for ads that just felt not aligned at all for me. And it just didn't work. It didn't reach the right people didn't build any more followers for me. So I've just done this in a really simple way that's completely organic, that's completely just me being me and posting content that I feel passionate about and being of service to other people. Oh, you're so sweet. Sarita says you're inspired through doing what you're advertising, walking the walk with sincerity, integrity, honesty, and generosity. That's the loveliest thing to write. That means so much. Thank you so much. And I used to think that social media success was this massive secret and gaining followers, let alone making money from it, was just reserved for a privileged few. I used to think that they knew something that I didn't know. And I've realized that's not the case now at all. It is just really simple formula, but that's why I feel so passionate about sharing it with all you guys, because everyone should know this and I feel so passionate about both men and women but I am really passionate about women in particular empowering themselves and making the money they deserve and showing you that you can really help people and make a difference but that doesn't have to be separate to making good money you can do both making good money also means you can help more people you can reinvest that money back into your business you can even take on team members you can use this money in such a positive way to create more products and services and reach even more people so loads of money mindset work that we do within the sole purpose business course bundle particularly in the be your own brand course which is in there which is a, a 10 session or 10 module course it's about two hours per module and we work through limiting money mindset beliefs and again I, I'm really honest with you about what my money mindset beliefs were and some of them I've still got but I've cleared through loads of them I show exactly how to do that and that's been so important to me shifting what I do and actually knowing I can make money so a little activity for you here. I want you to write down a yes or no answer to this question. You can put it up on the chat if you want to or just in your journal, whichever you prefer. And I know this is not easy to measure, but again, go with your intuition on this. And this is the question. Does social media make you money at the moment? Okay, so we've got yes, no, sometimes. Yep. Love this, guys. This is so good to understanding whether it makes you money or not. Just having, and there's no shame in it being a yes or a no. We often think there's shame in going, yeah, it makes me money, or no, it doesn't make me money, and being embarrassed, but being really honest with ourselves and other people, particularly like you're doing here, and actually saying it publicly is such a big step. And I promise you, it'll clear a lot of those money mindset beliefs either way. This is amazing, guys. Right, what I want you to write down now, you can write in your journal or on the chat. What is your first step on social media to making more money so we're going to go into our intuition again so intuition again so i want you to place your hands onto your heart center and i want you to take a really long deep breath really working from the tummy and i want you to ask yourself now and listen to the first answer that comes up what is my first step to making more money or my first money, more money or my first money on social media. What is my first step? And listen to that intuition. Okay, write down your answer. So I tapped into that as well. And actually my answer was actually doing more lives. So more Instagram, Facebook lives. So that was what my answer is. I'd be really interested to know what you guys saying. Um, 
talking about my products and work and just looking in the chat here, change direction, create and expose, dedication and action, finding my sole purpose, consistency. Yes, guys. And with the sole purpose business course bundle, I'm going to walk you through how to do those exact things and set goals and actually then put those goals into place each time. So as I said, it's all video-based learning. So it'll literally be like me here with you chatting to you as though it's in real life. And I guide you through the really great workbook as well. Um, being more visible and putting myself in front of the camera. Yes, Sharon, amazing. Starting a membership, I love this. Creativity in my posts. This is great. This is absolutely amazing. Again, write these nuggets of information down and, and use them. This is what you need to listen to. It's so important. Let's talk fun. Okay, so business, social media and growing a brand should be fun. We're in a new paradigm now. We're not doing it in that old paradigm way that business is stressful business should be really stuffy. It can be light and bright and empowering and fun. And as soon as I started believing this, as soon as I started thinking business doesn't need to be about men in suits in high rise buildings, working long hours, stressing themselves out, never seeing their family. As soon as I started believing, maybe business and social media and branding can be just great fun and really empowering my social media platforms really grew. And I now say to myself, look, if it doesn't light me up, I don't post it. So if I don't think, oh my gosh, I love this, I'm not gonna be sharing it with other people. And I make a lot of content every day. And one of the big things I've learned is I don't overthink it. I don't overthink my content too much because if I did, I wouldn't make any. I use my intuition. I do it as quickly as what we just did it then. Take a breath, hands on heart. What do I need to do? And I listen to it. I also use stats. I think that's really important as well. And again, in the Be Your Own Brand course within the Sole Purpose Business course bundle, I talk to you about really leaning into the stats. So how to actually go on your Instagram and Facebook, look at what posts do really well, look at what your followers really love, using, doing more of that. That's something which I really stepped into in my early days going, okay, so they're really liking these posts that are evoking emotion. They're really liking these posts that are actually actionable things that they can do. They're not liking the posts which are more this or that. So as soon as I started to understand that, that helped me to really do better on social media. So I make my content either in batch, so I'll sit down almost like a setup like I've got here today and I'll batch make it, or I make it while I'm living my life. And again, in the Soulful Social Media Success course, which is in your be your own brand bundle. I actually tell you how you can actually do things while you're out. Take a 10 second video while you're going for a walk. Do your meditation practice and set up your phone. Then do a little bit of voiceover over that afterwards. That makes an amazing reel. There's so many ways that you can make content whilst you're just living your life. I also ask myself, would I actually want to watch this? And that's really important. If the answer is no, then I don't really post it. I always put my wellness and mental health first. This is so important to say, guys. If your wellness and your mental health is not where it should be, you take a break, you take a pause, and then you go back to it. And I do everything I do to help and serve other people. And when I come from a place of service, it's hard to be nervous. And I know that sounds a bit cheesy and cliche, but it's so true. If I'm making it about me, I start to overthink everything. I start to become worried. I start to become anxious. I start to become nervous. I start to judge myself. I think other people are going to judge me. But if I'm doing it because I truly want to help other people, it's not about me anymore. It's about other people. And that just makes it all feel so light and bright and easy. So let's do another activity, guys. I want you to write down now, and you can do this again in the chat or you can do it in your journal. What one part of social media do you or would you find fun? So it might be something you're already doing or might be something you want to do. So what one part of social media is actually fun for you? Is it posting pictures? Is it making reels? Is it doing Instagram stories? Is it making a TikTok? Is it doing a Facebook post? Is it replying to comments? Is it doing DMs? Is it going live? Like, what is it 
that makes you feel really light and bright and fun when you do it or if you don't really do any social media at the moment what do you think you would find fun and just write it down again you can just write it either in the comments or you can just write it down on your piece of paper So I'm going to look at some of your comments here. Reels, going live, stories, reels, Instagram, responding to others, interacting with soulmate clients, reels, stories, posts, Facebook, Instagram posts, comments to connect with people, giving real advice or interactions. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Really step into that. That's what I want you to do again. So when you're starting to think about, okay, what am I going to start doing from tomorrow? Remember this workshop today and start doing more of those things. That's what you need to step into. I guarantee that there'll be some of you out there thinking, yeah, well, I, I like doing reels, but I feel like maybe I should be doing more lives. No, you don't have to do lives. There's no right or wrong answer here. The right answer is what your soulmate clients want to hear from you and what lights you up podcast we've got here um not taking yourself too seriously this is great guys okay now i want you to just write down how can you do more of this fun so what would your first step or strategy be to do more of this fun social media would it be posting more would it be committing to doing this daily would it be um trying something else new exploring what else is fun what Tap into your intuition. How can you do more of this fun in your social media? Love this. Start posting. I'm at the beginning. I love that. Creating some reels, committing to a number of weekly posts. Yes, Julie, maybe even write down your number now of how many weekly posts you're going to be. And you can start small. You can start by two or three because you can build up. But make do start with your minimum. As it says, step it, setting a time to make posts and schedule. Um, so says, stop telling myself stories about failure. Yes. This is so important and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that in a minute, actually. We're going to go through that. Okay, <laughs> one post a day, Leslie says, brilliant. So with everything we said in mind, this is the way that I believe that life as a soulful entrepreneur should look. So let me talk to you a little bit about it. Life should be full of health, happiness, joy, love kindness, freedom, independence, abundance, alignment, finance, hope, fun, experiences, travel, comfort, being of service and sharing all you know. That's what I believe a soulful entrepreneur's life should be like. And this is exactly what I teach you through all the tools I give you in the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle. And to be honest, this is mostly my life, but it's taken me 18 years to get here and I know that it doesn't have to take that long. And this is why I'm so passionate about this course bundle, because I teach you all of this. And to be honest, you could probably do everything in the sole purpose business course bundle. Let me think. I reckon you can complete it in about a month if you really sort of step into it. If you do that, you could literally do what I've done in 18 years in a month. I mean, you absolutely could. I tell you everything I have done to build my business, not just social media, but all aspects of marketing my business, building my brand. But I am still learning and adjusting my mindset and life daily. It's not all perfect. I have down days. I have days where I feel like I want to give up. I have days where I feel like I'm a failure. I have days where I don't feel good enough because I'm normal. I'm a human being. And I just give myself a little bit of grace and say that's OK. And I just pick myself up the next day and work on my mindset and move on. And you may have looked at that little white box there and actually said, look, I already have this life. But what you also want to do if you already do have this life is just maintain it with ease and without fear. I know so many people who have that life, they're making great money. Maybe they've hit into the six figures or multiple six figures, but they're fearful they may lose it or they're working really, really hard to maintain it. 
So what I teach you in the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle and all of those lovely courses is how to have that, but then just maintain it with ease and without the fear. So look at that little white box again. On a scale of one to 10, do you think you have this life? So 10 is like, yes, I have every single one of those things in that box. One is don't really have any. What number are you there? You can pop it in the chat or pop it down on your um, on your journal or whatever you're writing on. We've got loads of numbers coming up here. We have got one, eight, six, seven, seven, six, four. This is amazing, guys. So really getting honest with yourself. And again, there's no right or wrong answer here. So it doesn't matter if you're writing one or 10. The first step to change is awareness. So understanding where you are, then you set your goals. And I'm big about goal setting, particularly in the Be Your Own Brand course. So I really help you to set really clear goals and then exactly how to meet those goals. So it doesn't matter where you're starting from, one or 10. What else have we got here? We've got a seven. This is amazing, guys. And then I want you to write down on a scale of one to 10, how much do you want this type of life? So look at that box again. How much on a scale of one to 10? 10 being that is my dream life and one being mm, that's not really for me. <laughs> Kirsten says 11. This is amazing. Emma's saying 11. Lots of 10s coming up here. 10. Yes, guys, we deserve it. We've got to build ourselves up, particularly as women, to believe this is a life we deserve. New paradigm life that we're in now. We're not in that old paradigm where it's all focused on only the privileged few, only men that have this. It's all about stress or it's all about being dishonest with people and that old school way of being an entrepreneur. Now it's about all of this, this new paradigm, that white box. When I send you this PDF with all of this information on, maybe cut that out and put it somewhere and use that as your affirmations because you could literally make each of those into an affirmation. You know, I am joy, I am love, I am kindness, I am freedom. Yes to women empowerment. Oh, don't get me started on women's empowerment. I am big on that, particularly as a mummer of two daughters, it is something I'm very passionate about. Okay, let's talk about our fears on social media. So you may have heard everything I'm talking about here and then literally thinking, Danielle, I have these fears. So let's talk about them. Fears are normal. These are the fears that we can often have when it comes to social media. Firstly, comparison. So literally looking at what other people are doing and feeling not good enough. Failure. So we may feel it's not actually going to work out. Judgment. We may worry what others will think of us. Success. You may even have a fear of success. So concern about what might life might happen or what it might feel like or what others might think of you if you do succeed. And time. So worry or fear that it's going to take a lot of time to be on social media or to grow your business. And what I want you to do now is actually look at those fears and I want you to write down out of all those fears, what is your biggest fear about social media? Which of those are you most fearful about? Write it down. So is it time? Is it success? Is it judgment? Is it failure? Is it comparison? Judgment time. Yeah, everyone's writing here. Tracy's saying not being good enough. Amazing. Yeah, Les Leslie, thank you for joining. That's fine. You have to leave. Judgment time, judgment time, comparison, failure, time, failure. Yes, guys. So a lot of you here are saying failure. Now, one of the, there's loads of things that I'm going to do for you in the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle to help you with that failure. But something I want to say here now about the failure, you won't fail if you don't give up. So if you're committing 100% to doing this, you can't fail because you're not going to stop. And that's one thing I'd really say to you. And if you think to yourself, well, actually, I am worried that I might stop. That's also fine. What I want you to do is go to worst case scenario. So worst case scenario is your business does fail. OK, how bad is that worst case scenario? The more you can confront that worst case scenario, the more you're not worried about it anymore. The less worried you are about it. So there's so many things. I mean, I could say so much about each of these, but I'm just aware of time. 
You can never fail, you only learn. Jen, I love that, that's amazing. This is so great, girls. This is, I was gonna say girls. <laughs> you think I'm talking to my daughter? This is so great, ladies. I've been calling you girls. I'm used to saying girls so much because I have two daughters. Okay, so now you've written down what your biggest fear about social media is. Why is this not true? So there'll be a part of you that thinks, you know what, I don't think this is true. So write it down. Why is that not actually true? That fear you've got, why is it just a fear? Why is it not true? Write it down. So you can just take a moment to write down why you don't actually think that that fear is real truth. You feel maybe it's just your mind playing tricks on you. So write that down now. And then I want you to look again about what that biggest fear was. And I want you to write down what one thing could you do to slightly reduce this fear? So what's the next step you need to take to just start reducing that fear a little bit? Yes, this is amazing. Brave, do not give up. Fear of being seen, be seen. Yes, this is amazing, guys. This is honestly, this is such good work. And I've got so much respect for you showing up here and doing this work. So whether you're putting it on the chat here, whether you're doing it in your journal at home, this is so powerful, this work. I promise you, this will make such a difference to your business, to your brand, to your social media. Fear of failure isn't true because I succeeded. Yes, I love that. Let's say take action. Yes, yes, yes. This is amazing. Face the fear and do it anyway. Tracy, that is such good advice. This is amazing. So I am going to now show you what our final five step formula for social media success is. So to do well on social media, this is what you need to do. You need to have your positive belief. So this is about working on your mindset, which don't worry, I help you through with on the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle. We do the EFT tapping, we do journaling, we do affirmations, we do everything. So you want your positive belief. Next is your positive action. So this is things like your authenticity, your consistency, all of that that we talked about. And again, I can show you how to take that action with positive strategy. So this is having a clear aligned strategy. So we talked about the educational content, the emotive content, the entertaining content, and there's loads of other strategies you can use, not just on social media, but when it comes to your business in a greater sense. And you add that with positive freedom. So checking that all of this is still giving you your freedom. And then adding positive fun. So this is about, does this light you up? Is this exciting for you? Is this fun for you? Is this in this new paradigm of business? So by doing this, you are guaranteed to have social media success and abundance, abundance of money, abundance of love, abundance of joy, abundance of health and abundance of happiness. Who is with me with this? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up or a heart if you like this formula because this is so powerful. Positive belief plus positive action plus positive strategy plus positive freedom plus positive fun equals your social media success and abundance. Yes, guys, love seeing all your emojis. This is amazing. So if you decide to do the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, which is a video-based learning course, which has also got a live introductory Zoom call, and on that live introductory Zoom call, I'm gonna to talk to you about in a minute, I'll be able to see you and I'll be able to answer your questions live and help you out, and it's amazing. So these are the results that you should get if you do my Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle. I believe if you do everything that I say within this course, then there's absolutely no way that you can't get more income. So it depends where you're starting from with your income. If you're not already in multiple six figures, there's no reason why you can't be. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. I'll talk to you about how I do my pay per hour work and also how I set up my passive income as well. 
results you'll also get is being able to work when and where you like, knowing how to market yourself with ease to your soulmate clients and customers, less fear and mindset blocks, social media strategy, truly understanding your soul purpose, knowing what you want and how to get there, how to sell soulfully, and I talk loads about this, how you can do selling that doesn't feel like sales, comes from a place of authenticity and service, but still makes money. Loads of wellness and self-care tips, um, tips. So particularly in the Be Your Own Brand course, which is like your core course within the bundle, you'll also feel like you've had a lovely wellness experience. Every module you do, I play the crystal balls, I do breathing techniques with you, I read quotes to you, it's lovely. I teach you all my secret stories and strategies, but this is important, guys. You must do the work. So you'll get all those results if you put the work in. And that's so important. And what you're really paying for, so it's 555. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. What you're paying for is the speed. So it's taken me 18 years to get to this point now, but I teach this to you in one course. Well, in a, it's actually four little, five little courses within the bundle. But you're paying for the speed of learning it straight away, condensed information, tried and tested strategies, plus so much guidance on how to understand yourself better. By the time you finish the Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle, you will know yourself inside out. So what do you actually get in this bundle? So you get the Be Your Own Brand course. So this is a high level 10 module online self-study course, which will guide you on how to build a successful brand, market yourself authentically across all of your social media and make profitable sales whilst looking after your wellness as you grow. So we'll be doing module one, which is understand what a brand is, understand your own personal brand, understanding your sole purpose, how to make changes in your life, how to use self-care within your life and how to up-level every aspect of your life. Module two will be centered around your root chakra and you'll be setting all of your goals here. You'll be really working on your deepest feelings around money and then really work through mindset blocks. You'll really delve into true feelings of deserving money, feeling worthy of meeting your goals and really how to have long term financial stability in your business. Module three is around your sacral chakra. So this is about really stepping into the ease and the flow and the femininity and movement within your business. This is about really stepping into your creativity within the brand and the business that you either want or you've got. Module four is all based around your solar, your solar plexus chakra. So this is about taking action, using your energy, power. This is how to market yourself on social media. So going even deeper than we did today. And also we'll really go deeper on your soulmate clients and customers and how to really sell successfully to them in a soulful way. Module five is heart chakra. So this is getting really clear on what you love, what brings you joy, what lights you up. I'm going to tell you how I've made courses, how I've written books and how I've made products all from a place of love and joy. We'll also talk a lot about how to set boundaries, how to maintain happy clients and customers and how to have a business that is the greater good for you and other people. Module six is all about your throat chakra. So this is about speaking your truth, being authentic. And we really get into how can you show up on video? How can you start showing up more on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, maybe podcasts? We step into feelings of discomfort here and use this as your power. I really help you to be more effective as a teacher and a speaker. We talk a lot about the power of the magic no and the fear really overcoming that fear of putting yourself out there. Module seven is all about your third eye chakra. This is about inner knowing, trust and intuition. And this is about how you can use this for real financially secure business. I'm going to talk to you about how to pivot your mindset and also make pivots in your business. So if you're craving that change and really making big changes and small changes in your life. Module eight is all about your crown chakra. This is connecting with your higher self, higher source, whatever that means for you. We're going to be talking about dreaming much, much bigger. By this point, you'll be ready to dream even bigger. Manifestation and let go of attachments. We'll dive really deep into strategies to overcome imposter syndrome, overwhelm and fear. It's so important. We really go into all of that. 
Module nine is all about your final journey through the chakras. I talk about affirmations, meditation, face yoga, human design, and you'll be led through lots of activities to become really clear on your priorities moving forward for your business. So really helping you to look more long term. Module 10 is about meeting your goal, seeing how far you've come and really celebrating that. I'll be summarising lots of the key points in this course and I'll also be helping you to maintain your success, which is so important. So as well as all that in this sole purpose business course bundle for 555, so 555 pounds, which is way, way cheaper than what it was. I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. You'll also get the Soulful Social Media course. I'm aware of time, so I'm not going to go through exactly all about this, but it's basically how to completely market yourself on social media, how to do a month's worth of content, and I guide you through it in real time. So on video like this, exactly how to grow in your social media in a calm, flowing, and soulful way. Plus, you get also this in the bundle. You get a workshop on growing your brand in a soulful way. You get a workshop on using your intuition to grow your brand. And you get a workshop on really discovering what your sole purpose business really is. So you have a limited VIP bonus. So if you book within this next week, you're going to get a bonus live 60 minute Zoom group introductory call with me. So all of those courses I've talked about are all self-study. So they're all video based learning. You have workbooks that come with it as well. But I'm going to kickstart you with a live call. So I'll be able to see you or hear you, whichever you prefer, on the Zoom call. You'll be able to ask me specific questions about your business. And I'm also going to really show you how to get the most out of your bundle, motivate you to use this and to get results, show you how to manifest. I've got a really great manifestation process, which I love using and works so well. I give you lots of extra tips and you really get to ask questions. So I go deep into each of your business within time limits we've got. So this is actually on Tuesday, the 19th of September at six o'clock BST. So pop that in your diary. If you're thinking about getting in the next week or if you can book straight away now, then I will straight away let you know the Zoom link for this. And you can come along and have a live group session with me and you can learn and hear from other people. It's always amazing when I do this group call because you can hear other people's stories and get really motivated from that as well. So it's £555. Now, originally, all these courses together were £1,220. When I taught them live, that's how much they were. So it's hugely reduced. And I want to just talk about what 555 is, because I don't take this lightly. And trust me, I have had to overcome lots of fears and mindset blocks with investing in courses myself but every time I've invested in courses particularly business coaching courses it's made a massive difference for my business and I've got that money back straight away because I've actually put in place what the teacher has told me and if you put in place even within the first week what I tell you you should be able to make that money back straight away because 555 pound if you put into place what I'm doing and you what I teach you and perhaps you want to teach other people, you can make that in one workshop. I can show you how to do a workshop and you could literally make that money back straight away. Or you could create a course or a membership and it would only be one membership or one course sale to get that money back. If you do one to one sessions with people, this is only five to six one to one sessions. You made the money back, but you've got all this knowledge about what to do to grow your brand for life. And that's the important thing to remember. It's self-study now, which makes it so much more affordable. It's really step by step on how to grow your business immediately. So everything I teach you, you'll be able to put into place right away. And of course, you've got the lovely VIP live group motivation and manifestation introduction session if you book this week. And I will email you the link afterwards. Marie's also put the link up in the chat as well. In fact, I put the chat down there, guys. I haven't been looking at your chat. Marie's put it up there for me. Lovely Marie there. OK, so, guys, this is your time to ask any questions that you might have on the Soul Purpose Business course bundle. If you've got anything you want to ask me about business in general, of course, ask me that, too. But specifically, any questions about this course is great. I would love to answer them for you. And thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be hanging around for another 10 minutes or so and checking if there's any questions. If there's not, I'll head off. But I just want to say thank you. I 
I really love being here today and sharing what I know. And I'm really excited to see you putting into place everything that you've learned today and all that lovely intuition that you've tapped into as well. Thank you. Okay, so let me have a little look at your chats here. Is the bundle for lifetime? Yes, you have it for life. So you can rewatch it as many times as you want. In fact, a lot of people have done that. So they said to me they did, for example, the Be Your Own Brand course, and then they decided to revisit a couple of months later. Um, and because they're ready to up level their business to the next stage and the next stage. So you have it for life. Thank you, everybody. Um, Veronica says, thank you so much. My biggest block is I don't have a business, even though I'd love to. And I don't know how to be a service to others. I have so many interests, all related to wellness and well-being. And I don't know how to pick one and focus on that. So Veronica, that's exactly what I help you do in this Soul Purpose Business Course Bundle. So it doesn't matter whether you are two, three decades into your business or you haven't got a business yet and you're ready to start it. I show you exactly how to tap into your soul purpose, understand what your passions are, but then how to really just narrow that down to take those first steps. Because I know that so many of you, including myself, are multi-passionate, but it's so important just to focus. And actually, I'm not always about saying you have to completely niche down. You don't have to completely niche down, but you have to condense it down a little bit and then you can just widen out a little bit. But having that step by step about what to do in the next few stages is so important. And I really help you with that. Who are your mentors? Oh, I've done so many different courses over the years. I did an amazing one-to-one -one coaching, which I'm going to tell you was very expensive. I think the one hour session was about two and a half thousand pounds. And I remember I felt just crazy sick paying that, but it was so helpful. I had like an hour and a half one-to-one -one session. I did that with Amber Lee Lyons. Um, I've done lots of learning from all different mentors. Um, I love Jenna Kutcher, I love Jasmine Starr, um, so many people, Amy Porterfield's great. I haven't done one of her courses, but I've gone to a lot of her webinars, um, loads of people. And I'm learning every day. You know, I really am. I read books. I listen to podcasts. I obviously take lots of different trainings. I've recently done my crystal bowl training, Reiki training. I did that with Casey, um, Kelsey J Patel. So yes, loads of people. Thank you, everyone. Oh, really sweet. You're writing some lovely comments. I'm glad you feel so inspired. Jane, we don't do a payment plan, unfortunately, because it's such a reduced price now. It's just a one-off price. Oh, Elena, that's so lovely. You're saying a genuine, kind and lovely person. That is so sweet. Oh, thank you, everyone. So lovely. Yes, Marie's just let you know. So there's no payment plans. However, you can pay via PayPal. Therefore, you have the pay in three option in PayPal. That's really great, actually, Marie. That's a good point. So you have that option on your PayPal account. So it's worth checking to see if you can pay in there. So it's a really good way to do it. Um, Yes, it is an ongoing course. This limited VIP group coaching call, the live call, is just for this. So this is this expires in a week. But the actual course you can buy at any point, but you just wouldn't get this introductory call, which is so good for kickstarting, allows you to connect with me on a on a, it's a group, but it'll be a small group and, and more on a personal basis. Um, oh, thank you. You're saying appreciate my tender and direct style. That's very lovely. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Let me know if there's any other questions. Any other questions? Thank you. Oh, so sweet. Very informative and useful. Really lovely. So nice to connect with you all here. That's great. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you again, Josie. That's great. Thank you, everyone. Well, if you have any questions, you can always email us as well. And we're going to send you a recording of this and all the, the slides here from it as well. And I'll do a few reminder emails for you as well about the VIP bonus. So you just get to, to look at it all again and have a little think about everything. But 
you can literally, yes, the link for the bundle will get sent straight to our email. Um, if Marie's still here, she can literally put the link up for you straight away here and you can click through and you can literally buy it straight away. By the way, it will come to you immediately. So if you buy it now, you'll get sent your course straight away. So even though our group coaching call is in a week and a half's time, you may have already got really into the course by then because you're going to have a week and a half. So you can literally buy now, start studying, start making the changes tomorrow. I always think there's no time like the present. If your intuition is telling you this is the right thing to do, just do it right away. There we are, there's the link for Marie. Soul Purpose Business, your soul purpose is business .com slash course underscore bundle. So if you wanna just go and look at that on the website now, you can do your soul purpose business .com. So go there and click course bundle and you'll see it there and all the information is on there and if you book within the next week you're getting that live call with me so I'm sure I'll see some of you there and I'll be able to see your lovely faces as well then or if not just at least hear you um you don't have to have a camera on it's entirely up to you so I'm really excited to see you there and I'm really excited to see all these amazing changes that you're going to make to your business as well so Thank you so much, everyone. Go check out the website now and I'll have a little look because I'll see if you've ordered it. So I can see all your names here as well. So that would be amazing and get going on it straight away. So don't even have to wait until next, what is it, week on Tuesday. You don't even have to wait until then. You can literally get it now and get going and get started. When I've done this before, lots of people have done that and they have had more questions because they've got started with the course. So it's actually really nice to do it that way around as well. Okay, my darlings, lots of love. I'm going to go now and I'm going to have a shower because I'm very, very hot and very overexcited because I've absolutely loved this. Thank you everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.